Right, hello everybody, welcome to my round of 32 playoff game versus Archangel with Archangel's Will. Um, he hasn't got many players in his team. <laughs> oh, he's, I think he's, maybe he's, he's bought, I don't know what he's done to, this, to his team. He's bought a rookie throw, no he hasn't, I don't know what he's done to his team. He's done something to his team anyway. But he's got an Adj5 catcher uh, with pass block, <laughs> nerves of steel. Um, and what's this, pass as well, yep. Um... He's got a messed up lineman, he's got some catchers, a rookie, no, a tackle dancer, and a really good dancer. Um, you know, and he's got loads of inducements. So, although it looks on paper like an easy game, you know, L's with inducements, always dangerous. It looks like he's going to have 13 players, uh, probably a couple of stars. Um, my team looks amazing, but again, it just takes the wizard turn to uh, turn everything around. And um, joining me on commentary is BZL. Thank you very much for doing this, BZL. I'm now going to uh, uh, mute myself and concentrate on trying to actually play a good blood ball. And BZL will do all the commentary. Thank you very much. Goodbye. All right. Hello again, everybody. And uh, best of luck to you, Mr. Jim. Uh, and uh, I guess we're getting started. Uh, ever since uh, it became clear that this matchup was even possible, uh, Jim's been trying to manage expectations. Uh, his team is ridiculous. But then uh, Archangel, is uh, he knows what he's doing. He's a former Rebel champion with this team. I mean, all the way through the playoffs, one, uh, a lot of his strength is that one super ridiculous catcher. Uh, two Apos, two Babes, uh, and some other stuff that's on page one. So the team looks a little sad because there's only like six players, but uh, he gets bumped up to 11. He'll be buying at least one star, uh, probably have a, a second star or a journeyman or a mercenary or something uh, to go along with the two Apos. So maybe he's just going to uh, try and play safe. It doesn't seem likely, but uh, possibly he's uh, hedging his bets a little bit, Mr. Archangel. Uh, Jim made a last-minute change to his team, fired one of his uh, rookie beastmen. So maybe that upset his plans a little bit. But he spent all his money, and we'll see what it gets him. avec toutes ses dents, là, il aura mérité qu'on lui donne du champion. Les elfes sylvains sont très agiles, et ces danseurs de guerre sont les pires. Ouais, de vrais anguilles. Et quand on met enfin la main dessus, ça croustille entre les doigts. I'm having a little bit of trouble with... Uh... Cabal Vision not showing me this game, even though I can see it happening right now on stream. Here we go. Team Fantastic, Archangels Will. The matchup we've all been uh, anticipating for quite some time. High TV uh, chaos against high enough TV elves. Uh, it'll be a pretty dicey one. The elves are... Yeah, they're going to start on defense, and they're going to uh, offset their line of scrimmage, because why wouldn't you? He's only got one star. It is Eldril, so he's got 12 players total. That's enough journeymen for the line of scrimmage and the spare. Uh, 
two babes, total of three Apos, a Wizard, and an Eldrill. And plus one Fame as well for uh, the Elves. Yeah, Jim is not going to be uh, bamboozled by an offset line of scrimmage, uh, or even the fact that the uh, the eight players in the back are a little bit shifted to one side. And he's just going to line up a bunch of guys, and uh, wherever their players end up, he's going to punch them. Uh, I'll apologize right now. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of material prepared. Uh, Jim just asked me to do this game for him a couple hours ago, and uh, these games can be kind of slow sometimes. Uh, I'll do my best to keep you all entertained, but I can't make any great promises. Uh, I do hope this game goes as long as possible because I have to play a league match against Calcium afterwards, and he's got a Torp team, and I've got a beat-up shitty Kislev uh, crew. So uh, I would like that to not happen anytime soon so y'all take your time guys and uh, again i do have to uh say that as long as here i'm talking on jim's channel i'm probably uh he's probably at least partially responsible for me saying anything crazy so i'm not going to say anything too crazy uh, i have never played a patreon porn game I hope that's not too crazy. I hope that doesn't get me a strike. But, uh, no. Nope. Uh, I don't even know what that is. Hey, Jim. Uh, I don't want to kink shame anybody. That's probably uh, a little over the top either. So if you like spending your days playing Patreon porn games, that's totally fine by me. Yeah. Invasion, not really that bad. Uh, again, Archangel does have one point of uh, fame, so Pitch Invasion is more likely to hurt the Chaos side, but uh, only two against one. Not too bad. He'll probably still get to knock down the whole line of scrimmage uh, unless he just pushes them all. Oh, never mind. It's three against one. He lost his ball carrier as well, so that is going to be a little sad for Jim, but uh, he's got enough players free that he can come back and cover it. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm watching this game, and I'm also watching uh, Carolina and New Orleans. There's not a whole lot happening in that one, but I'd be happy to share updates. And the NFL doesn't have a spoilers rule, so I can probably tell you right now that the score is 17-9, and it's uh, about halfway through the second quarter. There goes one elf, but it's only KO'd. Uh, Archangel has two babes, so... Uh, KOs are, well, I mean, it's still nice to get a guy out of the way for uh, probably, you're hoping an eight-turn drive, but uh, he's definitely coming back. Uh, Patriots game starts in two hours and 20 minutes, I think. Which is a little long for even a Rebel match, but uh, there is uh, overtime. This doesn't seem like the sort of matchup that would go to overtime, but it's uh, entirely possible. Uh, and that could uh, certainly drag the game out a little longer. Jim's got the ball. Nobody can reach it. They're far enough back. It's not a big deal that it's not his ball carrier. Uh, I'm sure he would love to eventually get that ball carrier standing up and give it to him. But having the ball on a strength four guy, not so bad either. The Elves do have a uh, wrestle, tackle, leap fellow who's good at stripping the ball and such, but he doesn't actually have a strip ball. Uh, I am a shithead, and I am a Pats fan. Uh, I don't know if those two are connected. Uh, it's just I grew up in New England and still live there after all these years. So, uh, you know, you got to support your local team, even though it's nice that they're much, much better than every other team. 
It's just a coincidence. Okay, so even with the uh, pitch invasion, uh, Jim was able to stun a couple of guys in the line of scrimmage, KO the third one. Yeah, he's got the ball safe enough, a reasonable first turn. Uh, Archangel with uh, seven men to play with is probably not going to do anything uh, too outrageous. I guess he's setting up to blitz one of the piling on warriors that uh, really shouldn't be afraid of. And it worked out for him. My game is frozen, so I don't see that happening. Uh, cyanide. Click the replay. Uh, this is not the official cast. Uh, you can actually find that on Twitch elsewhere. Uh, it's probably uh, in bad taste for me to go say that you could watch a different stream while I'm guesting on this one. Nope, uh, tell him. Calcium. All right, it's Calcium. I'm sure they're having a ball. Yeah, if you've ever uh, taken a close look at the field in a game of Blood Bowl 2, uh, the logos are always off-center uh, because you know, it's cyanide. Uh, so that Rebel logo there, uh, that lets you know that this is a Rebel playoff match. Uh, not an official cast of a Rebel playoff match, but it is a Rebel playoff match. Uh, so it's right there, and it's probably center-ish. Oh, looks like Archangel actually is going to try and throw somebody at the ball. That's not his good catcher, uh, so, I mean, he'll still be sad when it dies, and it's likely to right now. But, yeah, that doesn't really accomplish a whole lot. It just gets him blitzed. Uh, and there are plenty of free players to move around, so Jim has no trouble really rearranging things. He's gone a little too far forward to uh, set up what I think I might want, on, want to do there is a, a Venga bus type cage with uh, the ball carrier and uh, his uh, two hands extra arms guy, who's usually the ball carrier right there as well. Who do you give the ball to? There's really uh, nobody obvious. Um, normally, you would just hand it off to uh, your your main ball carrier, but uh, what else do you have a wizard? And you really don't want to get your guy lightning bolted if he's your best guy. Uh, that's a pretty standard uh, tactic. Uh, you carry on somebody who isn't your best player uh, as long as they still have their lightning bolt in reserve. Cette formation permet d'avancer sans trop de risque. Ça va être dur de leur arracher le ballon. I feel like if he if Archangel is going to go for a sack, it's more likely uh, to start with a lightning bolt than a leap here. But it doesn't hurt to have <laughs> the ball on a strength four man. Uh, that really cuts down on the defensive options. Again, there's no there's no strip ball in play. Might still be uh, willing to try a wrestle tackle type, but uh, uh, you really want to be sure before you throw your armor six guy into wrestling in the middle of a cage full of uh, chaos players. Uh, 
Uh, Jim has uh, kind of spread things out a little bit. Uh, that's just because he's afraid of a fireball. Or maybe not afraid. That may not be the right word, but it's, uh, it's anti-fireball is why that cage is uh, a little open. Yeah, don't see anything too obvious. I guess uh, you can take your time and think about it. Uh, maybe there's a... Maybe he's going to try a three-man fireball or lightning bolt, but uh, neither of those seem uh, too promising yet. Plus, he'd like to get Eldril up and uh, available for a hypno-gaze. So, uh, it looks like all the elves are going to do is uh, just try a little bit of... Uh, Trishan blitzing with his own mighty blow. Hey, be nice. Be nice now, everyone. You're on channel positive. Uh, uh, I cannot even confirm uh, whether Jim is wearing underpants. Uh, I apologize for that. Uh, again, yeah, he just drafted me into the stream a couple hours before the game. Uh, so I didn't get to do the full amount of preparation, like uh, finding out answers to questions like that. Uh, I can only speculate uh, and really uh, I'm going to go with black because that's the color of everything he wears. Uh, except his uh, gilet jaune vest. <laughs> yeah, it's possible that uh, Jim is, uh, well, he's concentrating as hard as he can on this game because it's pretty important. It's the Rebel playoffs. Uh, he is also uh, listening a little bit and will maybe pop in to answer important questions like that uh, when he gets a moment. The elves are doing a pretty good job so far, uh, taking what blocks they can and uh, not taking any uh, unnecessary uh, risks. Uh, one way you lose the game for the elves is uh, you go full ham too quickly and, and lose three or four players. And you can't really afford to do that. Maybe next turn he'll be thinking about something because he's got Eldril uh, standing up and ready to uh, do Eldril things. Not just Hypnogaze, but of course he's also available to catch a ball afterwards. And possibly run away. Uh, so Jim will have to be careful. Uh, he does have a couple of catchers uh, on his side of the field. Alright, he's going to three dice one of them. And the hope is sooner or later uh, the Armor 7 guys will... Uh, Let's start getting hurt. Not blitzing with pylon. No, 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 no. You're not supposed to do that. I guess right now his pylon men are mostly around the ball. Uh, one guy's kind of stuck. He'll probably be able to get an extra block in somewhere. Uh, if he can uh, survive uh, and stay standing for the next turn. Well, you're not that far back. You're only about three squares away from the ball. And, and Jim won't really be in too much of a hurry to get forward. I mean, it's a chaos team, right? It wins with removals. That's the only way they can possibly win. Because uh, this is not built as a control chaos. Uh, 
That looks like he gave some thought to staying a little farther back with the uh, two minute turns SRL uh, three arm beast man. The three arms are four. Yeah, yeah, it's only three arms. That's plenty of arms. Now, so Jim's got his whole team around the ball, which is kind of where he wants them. Uh, he would like a fight to break out, but uh, so far, the Elves are being a little careful. They've got five-man fireball, including the ball here, if he wants it. Uh, and enough people around to, uh, if the fireball goes really well, to you know, get in, you can maybe have to hypnogaze somebody. But uh, there might be a, a recovery on afterwards. So that's probably what he's considering, and he's not going to go for it this time. Uh, it's it's a little mental. It's it's definitely aggressive. But what else tend to be pretty aggressive when they uh, get the chance? Now, for now, he's still just satisfied to take uh, attrition blitzes with his. Uh, uh, gas dancer. And I don't think wasting a fireball would uh, just lose you the game straight up. Uh, it's definitely nicer to have an in, have the wizard in hand uh, than to to get nothing for it. Uh, but it's always going to be a little dicey, and uh, you got to pick your spots and uh, hope to get a little lucky. Is he planning? Yeah, he's planning to take a loner block at this Chaos Warrior. That commits uh, a lot of people to that side there. Yeah, I'm not saying I would do it. I'm just saying it's something that he would certainly be considering every turn. Uh, is this the, the time to give it a try and see what happens? Well, Lunar Block works out, knocks the man down. Uh, that's one less uh, palm hit he has to take. Uh, Jim may just stand up and blitz with that guy anyway. Try and three dice somebody. Uh, no, he's gonna. He's gonna go after the guys on the right side of the field. That war dancer in the back this is a relatively young, but uh, still a pretty effective guy, uh, just with tackle. Uh, it doesn't really help him that much in this matchup. Uh, but he's happy to be able to blitz uh, the killer catcher. Oh, and that's an injury. Uh, it's an... Yeah, you have to apo that man. Uh, he's very fragile, but he's he's your game-winning player. Uh, so now he's off the field for the rest of the drive. Uh, that makes uh, any sort of uh, aggressive wizard action uh, yeah, look not quite as uh, appealing. Uh, yeah, Archangel bought two apos with his uh, inducement money. Uh, to go along with uh, two babes, a uh, wizard, and Eldril. Uh, so there was really never any question that you would apo that guy. Even if you only had one apo, you'd you use it right there. That's the guy you have to apo. It's going to take a while for Jim to wear through uh, all three apos. But he'll be hoping to make more progress. You know, he still has uh, 
the threat of Eldril doing uh, hypnogaze things, and of course a wizard, so uh, that doesn't really get him out of the woods, but uh, it's very nice to not deal with that catcher. Yeah, this elf team is really like two guys. Uh, one of them's gone, the other one is now Blitz and a Chaos Warrior as we speak. That's a block I think you'd be tempted to greed, and he does. Yeah, KOs, again, uh, two babes, so KOs are almost certainly coming back. Uh, but anyone you can get off the field for a few turns, that is better than nothing. I think this is a turn where you probably just try and consolidate a little bit. Uh, he can bring two assists in to try and uh, hit another Palm Warrior with the loner again. Uh, and he may do that, but it means uh, exposing somebody else. Someone like Eldril would have to come in as an assist. Uh, you could, I guess, dodge the block sidestep catcher away. That's probably going to happen anyway. It feels like the game's moving quite along. Moving right along. Ensuite, j'ai du Dr. Plu, un voyageur du temps infecté par la pourriture de Nurgle qui se promène dans l'histoire et contamine tout le monde. C'est du bon, mais c'est un peu... Uh, okay, so he's not going to take the loner uh, block on the Chaos Warrior this time around. He's just going to try and keep Eldril uh, screened off a little bit. One, two, three, four... Oh, you couldn't hit Eldril if you wanted. From here. Uh, Eldril is a tempting target, uh, just, you know, defenseless-ish. Well, he's got he's got dodge, but he does not have block, uh, and he's armor 7, and you can't apo him. Uh, so uh, he'd be a, a guy that you might want to blitz if you can, and at the moment, uh, you can. Uh, it does mean moving a few other people away from the ball. Uh, and Jim's just going after uh, the war dancer instead. And the chain means he'll get another block at uh, the crazy lineman, the six three four six lineman. Uh, that, that's actually a, another tempting target because of armor six, pretty easy to break. Oh, dead twitch is dead. All right, so we've now gone through two apos. Uh, one more, one more to whittle through before we can start actually hurting people. Uh, the elves are now down to eight guys on the field, but uh, again, they'll probably have 11 uh, next time they have to set things up. Uh, question to you is separate your team? Uh, probably not. I think you want to keep uh, all your guys in a big blob. And uh, that's that's what Jim is doing. Yeah. Doesn't really help to mark uh, elves that are far away from uh, the action because they'll just dodge away and go where you don't want them to be anyway. Uh, and your uh, strength four guys will get isolated. Uh, 
this may be where you start thinking about just abandoning the drive. Uh, you still always have that strength for Mighty Blow, War Dancer, or Blitz. Uh, but uh, other than that, try and keep your guys alive and uh, hope for one turn, which is not that unreasonable. This uh, catcher, of course, is absurd. It's hard to stop the Agility 5 Leap uh, guy from scoring. And Jim's got three more turns, and he's uh, he's crossed the halfway line. Uh, so the next turn or two, he'll want to get a couple squares forward, but uh, he still doesn't have to start panicking or anything. Hey. Uh, you can try to shift into a bit of an elf screen, but uh, there's only eight players. It's not uh, easy to get enough of an elf screen uh, where there won't be a gap for the chaos to just plow through. Oh no, don't be mean. Don't be mean, please. Um, uh, I certainly won't be mean until uh, after I'm off the channel. Uh, remember, uh, Archangel is a past Rebel champion, pretty good player, uh, and he's got some absurd uh, players on his team. So uh, one turn is really not uh, that unreasonable to expect. Uh, at least we, uh, you know, he's still going to have to roll some dice, but uh, uh, I, I expect he'll give it a pretty uh, credible shot. That's... What's his blitz? Is it the war dancer dodging away? Uh, hitting one of the dirty players? That's not really... He didn't need an assist for that. Yeah, he's gonna. He's just going to screen oh, uh, where he can. But again, there, there should be some gaps for Jim to get at least a few squares forward. And that's plenty. Yeah, called the blitz. Uh, that war dancer will then retreat behind the loner. Oh, moth rain, you're a moth rain. Mighty blow doing its thing. You got plenty of movement. Do you want to be one square to the right with that war dancer? Uh, that's the more traditional column screen. Uh, it, it's it's always a no mean stream here on uh, uh, Pirate Rebel Radio. Uh, I guess he's banking on this uh, down loner to stand up and make a dodge. Uh, that's uh, if he fails that, uh, the whole right side is open. Okay, so he's not going to re-roll that. Uh, that's, uh... Uh, that's one I think I would have re-rolled, just again because uh, the whole right side is basically wide open now. Uh, because he didn't get around to standing up his loner uh, and getting it somewhere in position. You can very easily blitz the one uh, loner who's left, which is what's happening. He's getting knocked down and uh, his armor holds up, but uh, there's plenty of room for Jim to go forward. Oh, he's got. Oh, you're not going to pile on. And uh, that might be the right call. Because uh, you need that guy standing uh, and uh, screening. But it's always sad to see uh, Jim hover his mouse over the don't pile on button and then click it. Uh, those are two sad things. C'est une formation solide. Je demande à voir comment l'adversaire va subtiliser le ballon. Two, four, six. Jim's now in scoring range with a turn to kill, uh, and that's uh, that's why you, you have to not fail that GFI there. Uh, 
the elves are fast enough they can still get around uh, and try and reestablish a screen. Uh, Jim definitely will not want to score early. And so if you're the elves, you kind of have this turn to do whatever you want. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, he's got the movement to set up uh, an elf screen and right in front of the ball if he so desires. Uh, this is elves with uh, one remaining apo of the three they started with. Uh, there are two players on the bench that were uh, cast, uh, and they both got better. So Jim is doing his best to uh, wear through uh, uh, all of the doctrine available. Uh, and he's got two. He's, uh, uh, one was on the uh, super catcher. So it's, it's a little uh, disappointing, I guess, that he is going to be back. It would have been cool to kill him and then not have him uh, survive. Uh, the other was against a war dancer uh, who did die uh, and got better. Uh, there is a very serious one-turner. He's uh, currently on the bench. Uh, he's an Agility 5 catcher uh, with Leap. Yeah, so he's, he's, only, he's only move 8 uh, with Sprint, of course. Uh, so he needs two pushes. Uh, it's not a free a one turn, you know, it's not, a, he's not movement 15, uh, but uh, it, it should be manageable. Uh, it's going to take some dice. Jim has a lot of strength. Uh, he'll have uh, a wall of guys uh, and there might be some one dice uh, blocks to make. Uh, there's a, he's got what, two, three, four guard. One, two, three, four. I think it's four. Uh, you never want to have to try and make pushes with red dice on a, a one-turn attempt, because uh, that's just a one in nine to succeed. And if you can get one push and then the second one is red, that's probably not uh, the worst thing in the world. Uh, this is a big match. This is the round of 32 in the Rebel Playoffs. Uh, Archangels Will is a team that has won the Rebel Playoffs before, so... Uh, uh, yeah, pretty serious. Uh, Jim would like to win this as well, I'm sure. Uh, and that's why I'm here. My name is Ben. I'm doing uh, commentary. So Jim can just shut up and concentrate his best on this game. Uh, you know it's a big deal when he wants to try hard. Uh, Jim's actually uh, not too uh, high on his chances. Uh, he's been uh, he's been telling us ever since uh, we saw the brackets and uh, saw that this game was likely to happen uh, that it was going to be really difficult for him. Uh, and things are going well so far, but again, the elves still have uh, their they'll have their whole team. They'll still have a wizard. Uh, and this this is a really uh, strong elf team in that it has uh, some really strong players. Uh, there's that strength for uh, Mighty Blow War Dancer that has been uh, causing some trouble. Uh, the Crazy Catcher Legend uh, is not available at the moment, but he'll be back soon. Uh, once again, uh, can't pile on. That's always sad. Uh, I guess this means Jim just moves uh, right into the middle. It would be really nice to have broken that chap's armor, but it, it was not to be. And the elves have only eight players on, on the field. 
uh, and three of them are behind the line, uh, so that's not really enough to set up a wall. Uh, and okay, Jim's just going to stay put with the ball where it is. Uh, his uh, movement six lineman, uh, who is currently marking a Chaos Warriors, like to dodge around, uh, try and stand in front of Eldrill, but uh, you still have to make a dodge with a loner, and it's at least a three plus, two plus to get him out. Uh, to set up a wall of guys. Uh, and if uh, worst comes to worst, uh, you can always hand off to a Chaos Warrior who's currently standing in the middle of the field, and that's just a 3-plus to score from there. Uh, there isn't really an awful lot more for Archangel to do. He might be uh, working out a way to uh, blitz somebody with his War Dancer and then get it back into position. Uh, Jim is uh, like seven or eight hundred TV up. Uh, he has nothing. Uh, the elves have Eldril, a wizard, uh, two Appos, two, and two babes. Uh, he's used two of his three Appos. He still has one remaining. Uh, and his one KO'd player is, again, almost certainly to come back. And this is Jim's drive. Uh, I don't know who won the toss. Uh, I think if I'm the Elves, I probably would have chosen to go on defense as well. Uh, and Jim would probably have picked offense here. So uh, it, and the toss, I guess, didn't really matter. If you look at it that way. It's halftime. Uh, over in uh, New Orleans. And the turn for oh, fuck's the sake! Saints are up 17 to 15. End the on fucking that. turn, man! Oh, not necessarily. It could certainly be reasonable for both teams to be happy with uh, the same result. You say Kwajima? Y'a des pommes bombers qui sont mieux payés que certains joueurs. Bon, c'est vrai ça. Mais pourquoi? And it's because they have different reasons. Plus de temps à luquer les cheerleaders que les joueurs de l'équipe. Faut pas s'étonner que les sponsors leur signent des contrats en or. Il est maintenant libre comme un pied dans l'air. It's not. It's not a clear decision either way. The reason why I would probably kick with the elves is to have the one turn come up a little earlier while you're still. Uh, likely to have your whole team. Uh, he can screen this off a, uh, enough to give Jim some problems. Uh, there will only be one player on the far right, but he has sidestep. Uh, so if you blitz him, you need to knock him down. Uh, otherwise, he's still going to be in the way. Uh, the War Dancer, who just blitzed a uh, Chaos Warrior, will probably go right back to the square he started. Uh, and then there's just a 1 in 36 dodge with this lineman who's currently uh, basing a Chaos Warrior. Uh, he'll probably come back and stand in front of Eldril, and then you have kind of a screen. Oh, he's shifting farther to the right. I don't, don't care for that as much. Uh, I guess it's probably all right, too, because the War Dancer also has sidestep. You don't need two people in the way. So your first option is ignore the screen, uh, blitz the uh, loner out of the way, uh, and uh, hand off to somebody in the middle of the field uh, and run around. Uh, that's kind of a, that looks like a 3 2 2. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yes. Oh, wait, never mind. It's Guy the Corona. He is the movement for Chaos Warrior, so that plan is out. Yeah, you might have to go right through with the uh, the two heads man. That's that's a possibility as well. Uh, tackle is not really an issue. Uh, nobody has dodge. Uh, so if you blitz uh, the six three four six lineman, or who's right in the middle of the screen there, 
uh, and then try to dodge uh, through. That might be what he has to do. Uh, and we do have a loner scoring threat. All right, Jim's going to make this three dice. And a push is good enough. I can't really do anything about the loner scoring threat. Uh, he's too far away, so I guess it's just handoff uh, and hope. Uh, and that's that's Blood Bowl sometimes. It comes down to roll some dice and hope for the best. Oh, this is not going to be the last Apo. Uh, with all the loners and Eldrill and such. Uh-oh. Roll the one. Extra arms. Do something better than that. And makes dodges, so he gets the score. Uh, that's not uh, ideal. You never really want to be rolling dice at a time like that, especially after <laughs> uh, rolling a one on the handoff. But uh, you know, credit to Archangel defended that uh, well enough that uh, Jim is forced to do some stuff, and it worked out. Uh, yeah, without extra arms, that's uh, he fails that handoff. So that was that was a one and a two on the reroll. So extra arms saving the day. Uh, the first catch roll was a one. Uh, he rerolled that. The second was a two, uh, which works. Uh, and. Uh, one of the dodges just barely made it because of two heads. Otherwise, it would have been a failure as well. Uh, the first dodge was a six. Uh, the second, he rolled a two. He needed a three. Uh, two heads made that a two. And it. Uh, look, at, look at those. Uh, I know. Well, they're not kill skills, so they must be control skills. Extra arms is. Well, it's not that great. Uh, on a high TV uh, chaos team, it's all right uh, to have a, a ball carrier. Uh, and you've got uh, 14 or 15 guys. Uh, this team is actually at 14 right now because he fired a player just before the game started. Uh, he'll have his uh, extra arms player hiding on the bench because he doesn't want to get him hit with a thrown rock or a blitz or anything. Uh, and now it's uh, how can we make uh, the one turn as difficult as possible? <laughs> Uh, Jim's going to have his tackle players mostly spread out in the middle to the right, uh, assuming uh, it depends where the pushes are going to go. All right, he's got all four of them in a big box in the middle, so any kind of pushes through the middle uh, will involve some dodges through tackle. Uh, the player who will be scoring is, of course, uh, the catcher. Uh, he's got leap, so he can use that to mitigate uh, some of the dodges through tackle if he needs to. You know, if you're going to have a ball carrying goat, uh, you want some doubles. Uh, well, uh, what you really want are uh, stats. Uh, movement and agility. Uh, agility is great, but you can't always get that. Uh, so sometimes you just have normal skills, and then you take those uh, have those mutations that uh, we normally laugh at. Uh, two minute turns. SRL was always going to be a ball carrier. Uh, his very first skill is short hands. Uh, and after that, block. Uh, and then you, you're a little boxed in because he's your ball carrier. Uh, and you're rolling on the normal, and there's nothing else to do, really, but take two heads and extra arms. So 
So reasonably successful drive. Uh, we were able to, you know, I say we, Jim was able to, Kaz won, uh, Loner Lyman, uh, the team's still down to 11, of course, uh, but he's gone through two of their three Apos. Uh, and he was able to score on turn eight. Uh, we've got a whole method coming up uh, that's hard to avoid uh, against a setup like this. Uh, it probably means taking the War Dancer and blitzing uh, Mr. Throw backwards and then trying to do some other pushes. Uh, depends which way you go. You probably don't want to have to do a block with Eldrill. No, not just because you can't reroll it, but uh, once you've made a couple of pushes, you might want to use Eldrill to hypnogaze somebody and uh, cut down on any dodges that have to happen. Yeah, kickoff return, uh, that's possible as well. Uh, kickoff return, I'm not really a huge fan, but uh, again, once you've run out of uh, other skills to take, it, it doesn't hurt. Uh, and we joke uh, sometimes about one turns because... Uh, uh, there haven't been a lot of them in the Rebel playoffs or even in the uh, regular season games that I've seen. Uh, but uh, if you're ever going to see a good one turn, this will be the game right here, right now. Uh, Archangel's got a full team, and uh, the, uh, he, saved, uh, he saved himself a reroll. He's got the players to pull it off. Uh, it won't be easy. This is uh, uh, not the uh, easiest defense to go through. But uh, I, I expect he's going to give it a good chance here. Oh, there's nothing banned. Uh, no bribes for anybody. That's Jim's stadium. Uh, I think Jim would probably not be too upset to have a bribe right now. Oh, but it's the price you pay for canceling Throne Rocks, which uh, if you're Jim's team, the one thing you don't want is a Throne Rock. Because you've got so many players uh, that could get uh, hit and killed. Right, just... And give the ball to the catcher. It doesn't matter about the tackle zones because he's got nerves of steel in there somewhere. Uh, my understanding is that uh, Archangel picked this catcher up a while back on the player market. Uh, I don't know uh, what skills it had and when or what he added to them. But, you know, push is working out pretty well so far. He's got two that he needs, uh, and he can reach the end zone from here. Doesn't look like he'll be able to get any more pushes. Uh, it's a shame that Eldrill is in some tackle zones, because it would be nice to just bring Eldrill over and, and Hypnogaze, uh, that beast man who's marking the ball. Uh, he may try that anyway. That's just a 1 in 36 dodge. Uh, and uh, if you make that, you have a leap. You really don't have to worry about dodges either. Oh, he's not even gonna he's not even gonna try. He's just gonna make a couple of dodges, which are pretty easy. And he hasn't had to use dodge yet. Nope, yes he has. So that's why he's leaping. Uh, and then just walking in the end zone. There's your one turn touchdown, everybody. Uh, that's how you do it. Fuck off. First of all, you need a legend catcher with agility five and leap. Uh, and second of all, uh, those were not easy pushes to put together, and he did it anyway. 
Uh, so that's a, a big win for the Elks. They'll be on offense in the second half uh, with the score tied, with the Wizards still in their pocket, uh, and with an apple still to burn. So uh, looks tough for Jim, uh, but uh, just, that was pretty much always how the game was going to go down. Uh, that's not something to get really upset about. Um, well, sure, it's disappointing when it happens, but... Uh, It's going to happen pretty frequently. It's not it's not that difficult a one turn to do. Uh, and Archangel knows what he's doing. Uh, he was uh, put that together exactly well. Uh, I mean, I might have tried a couple of different things, but uh, the way he did it was uh, excellent. Uh, and exactly, that's why... Uh, the Elves would want to be on defense to start the first half. Uh, for the second half, uh, the Elves will want to stall as long as they can it's, uh, and try and play for 2-1. Uh, Chaos team, we're not going to see them one turn, uh, almost certainly. So, if you can stall this out until turn 16 and score, uh, you you'll be pretty uh, a pretty good spot. Uh, what you missed was uh, uh, Jim did manage to score in turn eight, uh, but uh, the Elf one turned. Uh, so it's now one one going into the uh, offensive drive for the Elf team. Uh, and they, uh, from here, be heavy favorites to win. Again, I'm not sure exactly who picked what skills on this uh, legend catcher. I'm pretty sure he had uh, stuff like pass block uh, before Archangel picked him up on the market. Uh, and some of those skills look a little odd, but uh, they, there are a lot of situations where this catcher is just very effective. Yeah. Uh, you probably won't get to use pass block in this match. Uh, but uh, there are a lot of times where you will. Uh, and we did see him use Nerves of Steel uh, to give him the ball in a couple of tackle zones with no trouble. And if you are going to use pass block, uh, Nerves of Steel is a pretty nice uh, bonus. Uh, he has great chances to intercept the ball. Now, a good coach will see that and say, uh, I'm not going to pass anywhere near him, uh, which may limit their options somewhat. Uh, sometimes when you're passing, uh, you're doing it because you have to. Yeah, you don't usually want to, unless you're just sea farming, but sometimes you have to. Uh, yeah, Jim's main path to winning from here is to cast an elf every turn. Yeah, it's certainly not an easy thing to do, but they are down to one apo, and even if you can remove uh, a lot of players. Uh, maybe uh, if you get the Elves down to five or six players after a couple of turns, they might have difficulty scoring. Uh, this Chaos team is not easy to score on in from open play. Uh, there's just so much strength that it's hard to push guys around, get them out of the way. Uh, the Elves do have a strength for Mighty Blow War Dancer, who's uh, been blitzing most of the time, as you'd expect, uh, and uh, breaking armor every now and then. So they'll have some play for attrition on their side as well. Uh, can you use leap during path block? I don't remember. I'm sorry. Oh, oh well, there you go. That's that's a bad start. Uh, can the chaos team take advantage of that? Not really all that much. Uh, I mean, they certainly can't pour through. 
but they're going to get line of scrimmage blocks that they otherwise wouldn't. Uh, and uh, losing a reroll, you never want to have to use a reroll early on, especially in your offense. Uh, one drawback to these overtime type games uh, if you have to play offense in the second half, you're likely to need rerolls more. Uh, and then you don't have them uh, for overtime. Yeah, if, uh, if you knock down, uh, well, you're certainly planning to knock down the two remaining players on the line of scrimmage. Um, Jim's going to base some guys. That's fine. Uh, loners can, uh, they can roll ones sometimes if they have to make dodges away. And you definitely can't uh, afford to burn a second reroll early. Jim's got a dirty player hanging out in the middle of the uh, line there. He may try and foul somebody. He may just... Uh, uh, be patient. The most likely foul target at the moment is the war dancer who's stunned, and you never really want to foul a stunned guy. Uh, there's just uh, less to gain from it, uh, but uh, it's not uh, as bad as uh, it's often made out to be. And right now he's got uh, four assists, <laughs> four, th three assists at the moment. Can easily bring in a fourth. Uh, maybe he'll even try and blitz through. He can now hit that uh, super catcher if he desires. You know, everyone's a target. Everyone's available uh, once you base the whole team. Uh, Jim is never really too excited to foul things. Uh, he does not have a bribe. Uh, he won't want to lose his players. Uh, and uh, I think he feels like he's never very lucky on fouls anyway. I mean, he's got a dirty player right there. Uh, he's certainly tempting to try and make use of it. Uh, but uh, anyone who's watched a lot of Jim will know that he is super conservative about fouling. All right, you get the catcher down. Uh, the follow takes uh, an assist away from that potential foul. He's not going to foul at all. Oh, no, wait. Oh. Looked like he was running backwards to maybe do a run-up foul. Uh, and then he changed his mind and turned. So they also have some problems to solve. Uh, there aren't an awful lot of easy blocks to make other than uh, maybe something with the War Dancer um, because strength four, but there's guard all over the place. Uh, and okay, Archangel is just going to run backwards with the ball, try and keep it safe for now. Totally reasonable. He's got it on that thrower, uh, who's a rookie, but has leveled in this game. The Eldrill Gaze is actually pretty good. It means this guy doesn't have tackle zones anymore. Uh, that makes a lot of the dodges away from this line of Chaos players much easier. Uh, so that's a nice play. Yeah, I think a lot of people would have tried fouling that, that dancer who's stunned. Uh... Again, one of the results you can get from fouling somebody is a stun. Uh, so uh, you have less to gain when you're fouling them that way, and uh, Jim doesn't like to foul people anyway. So it's not too surprising that uh, he didn't try it. But uh, again, I think a lot of people would have. Saints have scored at some point and is now 24 to 15. Carolina, nine points down, but they've got the ball and are driving. Oh. 
you know, one of the things you got to keep in mind, um, it's a dice game. Uh, tr- it's, skulls are going to happen. Quad skulls are going to happen. Uh, if you were here last night, uh, right here on the unofficial uh, Rebel Playoff cast, uh, you've seen Crystal Hunter's game was a uh, pretty wild one. Uh, he began his very first turn uh, with quad skulls. Uh, and uh, I think a lot of people have been pretty upset by that. Uh, but if you keep your cool, you can usually recover from things. Okay, maybe usually is a stretch, but uh, you you can frequently uh, deal with uh, some amount of bad luck. Um, if you uh, if you just get all tilted about it, uh, then that's how you know you're never going to recover. Uh, your chances may have been hurt overall in the game by rolling some bad dice, uh, but uh, it doesn't mean you've lost. And as long as you you keep cool head, uh, you have you have some chances to to correct the bad stuff that's happened to you. All right, Archangel just wandering right around the Hypnogaze man. I thought he might have tried blitzing him. Uh, that would have tempted me just because uh, you could push him off Eldrill. <laughs> because next turn, he's just going to smash Eldrill, and that's not really great. Now, we've all had uh, bad dice happen to us. Uh, if you've played any Blood Bowl at all, uh, you've probably <laughs> lost some games that uh, uh, you feel like you shouldn't have uh, because of dice. And it's just something you gotta you got to deal with. Oh, he's not dodging the loner out. Will he try for a quick score? Uh, right now, assuming Jim does nothing, uh, you can take your thrower hand off to the super catcher, who has pass, by the way, uh, who can then just run up here, pass it to the uh, scoring threat catcher, and score. Uh, I don't think it's the best idea uh, to score quickly against this Chaos team, but uh, you still have most of your team, uh, and you still have a wizard, uh, so he might fancy his chances. So if you're Jim, you might just completely ignore that uh, threat to score. Uh, probably still want to keep some people back where they can reach the catcher if he tries to stall afterwards. All right, he's bringing back the strength for tackle man uh, to deal with that possibility. Uh, but if the elves do want to score fast, I don't think Jim's too upset about that. Uh, he's, he just stick with his plan A of uh, hurting whatever guys he can. Maybe this turn he'll foul the dancer. He'll injure another uh, another loner. That's nice because you know the, the loners aren't going to get apoed. Uh, so the elf team is finally down below eleven players for the rest of the game. Yeah, the elves, well, you know, they had some trouble when they're, uh, oh, I don't think you can reroll that. He's got to be tempted, but I don't think he can. And he chooses not to. I mean, it wasn't really the elf's fault that their first block was uh, quad skulls. And they're, uh, you know, sometimes it takes a few turns to recover from that. And they're, they're, they're trying. Uh, they're giving it a go. I think Archangel has played really well. And of course, still has the wizard. Uh, he won't want to use it on offense. Uh, unless he absolutely has to. If it gives him a turn 16 score, that's great. Uh, but uh, that's probably the only situation where you'd really be happy to use your wizard. You can take a wizard into overtime uh, if that comes if it comes down to that. That's pretty good, too. All right, 
right, so uh, the scoring threat catcher is based, uh, but uh, the, the scoring play, if he wants it, is still pretty much on. There isn't really any pressure on the ball either, so uh, he doesn't have to hurry. He can just take another turn and uh, try and make a few blocks. Uh, get his war dancer out of a war dancer prison. Right now, it's uh, it's stuck on three guys. Uh, war dancer shouldn't have any difficulty uh, dealing with that, but uh, you don't want to leave him where he is. Yeah, sometimes it happens. Uh, think of it kind of like getting blitzed on, right? You're all set up for whatever your elf offense is going to be. Uh, and then Chaos rolls a blitz and uh, knocks somebody over and then bases everybody. And uh, that, that wasn't what happened, but uh, the end result was pretty similar. Uh, blitzing this fellow here to clear the scoring threat suggests that he's at least thinking about it. And then there's, you know, there's a chance he'll try the scoring play right now. Uh, he may try and stall another turn or two as well. And he's got uh, a dancer up there. He can... Uh, try and screen off uh, his scoring threat enough that uh, maybe it doesn't get blitzed. Uh, both guys on the sideline right now. Uh, there's a frenzy player right there, but they both have sidestep, so they won't be uh, overly concerned about that. Uh, and yeah, that's the play that we we'll called a while back. Oh, he threw a pass. All right, so, well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Now you're just going to hand off with this catcher uh, and... Uh, the way things are set up, you got really no choice but to walk in the score. Yeah, it's either a handoff throw or a throw and then handoff. Uh, and it probably doesn't matter all that much. So the Chaos have six turns to try and put a score together. Uh, and they're finally down to 10 players. Uh, they'll get some line of scrimmage blocks. Uh, on the elves, try and remove a few more, uh, and then hopefully have a pretty comfortable ride through. He still has to play around the wizard. Now, if Jim had pass block, uh, they could have just reordered things so he threw a pass uh, earlier or later in the play and then uh, did the handoff earlier. Uh, the original ball carrier was the thrower, he had pass, uh, and uh, the Intermediate man was the super catcher who uh, also has passed uh, for uh, whatever reason. And so yeah, pass block uh, would not have really uh, accomplished anything unless you had uh, pass block on uh, three or four players. I mean, it's it's still in the balance. Uh, Jim is, of course, just playing for overtime at this point. Uh, I think he, if uh, given this position at the start of the game, he'd have to say, you know, uh, not ideal, but uh, uh, still have to be pretty comfortable with your chances from here. And I think Archangel won't be upset either. He hasn't uh, lost anybody uh, except a couple of loners. Uh, still has uh, all his important players. Still has his wizard. Still has an Apo. Uh, he's got to like his chances as well. Uh, and there's a blitz. Uh, he's chosen to kick really deep. Uh, so uh, they won't be stealing the ball, but uh, that's an extra uh, blitz with the War Dancer, probably. Well, actually, not even that easy to get a blitz uh, with that War Dancer here. So maybe the blitz won't do an awful lot. Uh, 
Oh, it's going to be really aggressive running around. Could work out. Right? A kick this deep is going to take chaos a couple of turns. For, uh, cunt of a fucking uh, shithead. Fucking cunt. Cunt. Yeah, if half your team is up at the line cunt. of scrimmage and half your team is cunt. trying to protect the ball deep in your own territory, cunt. Fucking uh, beast. that's when a wizard becomes extremely dangerous. Uh, and uh, it's aggressive. Uh, but it could easily mean uh, Archangel's Will going up 3-1. Uh, and at that point, game's over. Uh, Jim won't be uh, throwing any passes. On est diffusé dans tout le monde en cabal visio destiné et rien n'échappe aux spectateurs. Il faut bien que je soigne mon apparence. Uh, we'll see where the ball scatters to. Uh, it's in a really great spot for the elves right now. If it ends up in the end zone or something, uh, then uh, extra arms goat will not have a lot of movement left uh, after he picks it up. Uh, Jim will be desperately hoping it scatters towards his ball carrier. Six. Up. At which point he can kind of get in touch with his team. Uh, he won't want to leave this player isolated because uh, the war dancer and the catcher will be able to reach him. Uh, you might even go super aggressive and uh, base the rest of this line of scrimmage. You're taking a lot of hits, but uh, you're keeping them out of the play. Herp, derp. Base, base, base. Uh, Jim is this not lobbing I'm on the right. Burr, burr, burr. Uh, and yes, uh, this is a blitz for the elves. Pass block activates three squares. Uh, you can... Uh, you can move uh, to uh, somewhere where you could intercept the ball or uh, somehow interfere with the play, like basing the guy who's throwing it. Uh, and if you're too far away to get to any of those squares, uh, it doesn't activate. Uh, he also has two players with pass block, and they're both in the same general area. Uh, Eldril, of course, has pass block. Uh, you can only make one pass block move uh, on a pass. Yeah, four minute turns, but um, that was that was the kind of blitz turn where you would uh, not begrudge somebody taking uh, three of those four minutes. Uh, so the scatter is uh, decent. Uh, it's not it's not the best possible scatter, but it's certainly not the worst by a long way. Oh, is he setting up a pass? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, throw it to that guy that he just moved. You'll want to set up a full cage around him first, so uh, if he does drop the ball, maybe it lands in multiple tackle zones. Uh, or maybe you're just going to try and screen things off. Screening is not uh, all that promising, uh, because uh, the alts have things like Hypno Gaze and Agility 5. And uh, uh, at the risk of repeating myself again, a wizard... Hello there, Mr. Incesticide. Uh, the game has uh, suddenly turned against uh, the Chaos team. Uh, it's been back and forth. Uh, the first half was pretty good. Uh, Chaos uh, went on offense, had a nice eight-turn drive, uh, burned through two of the three uh, Apos on the Wood Elf team. Uh, but then the Wood Elves just turned around and one-turned. Uh, then, uh, on their offense, they scored quickly. It took them three turns to do it. Uh, and now uh, Jim's panicking because uh, there was a blitz. 
So it looks like, yeah, he's got to pass it to one of the guys in the cage there. Uh, it'll be the one closer to him because the one that's farther away is uh, currently one square too far for a short pass. Or Oh, no, just going to double GFI, maybe handoff instead. All right, that's solid. Oh, sorry, my name is Ben. I am BZL uh, number 11. Uh, Jim is tryharding, super tryhardy. Uh, so he asked me to come in and do the cast for him. Uh, I know my accent is very Northern English, so it's uh, easy to mistake the two of us. But uh, no, he is, well, he's still listening, but he's concentrating his best because this is a, a very difficult game against a confident opponent uh, in a league playoff. Uh, where is Jim's Blitz? He may not have one. I mean, you might as well uh, activate Blitz here. You can, that's your last two player to move. Uh, you knock that guy down uh, and injure him, so that's good. Uh, and now you can uh, reposition that couple. Uh, I think Jim will be pretty happy. This has been an excellent recovery. Uh, and suddenly the Wood Elves just look pretty out of position, way off down on the sideline. Uh, it's not hard for them to recover from that. They may also be considering a wizard right now. Uh, there is a five-man fireball. Uh, if you don't get a really good result from it, uh, then it's probably uh, a huge disappointment for you. So I don't think we'll see a wizard right now. Uh, maybe uh, the elves will just say, oh shit, he did everything great. Uh, and uh, uh, we thought we might have had a chance, but uh, everything worked out for the chaos that turn. Uh, so let's just get back in front of him. Uh, Trishan went pretty well. He injured a player uh, and uh, knocked out another. And so there are eight elves left on the pitch. You know, Jim isn't going to give you an easy bolt if he can help it. Uh, but again, he still has uh, uh, only five turns uh, to score, and he has to score. Uh, oh, well, he's going to bolt right now. Uh, that, well, that is KO. But it's unlikely that that ball is going to scatter somewhere where the elves can grab it uh, and do anything much with it. Uh, for example, well, uh, well Why his, uh, his ball Why carrier you got it. What are you doing? This guy's not uh, uh. unblitzable, but uh, there's no guard on the elf team. You'd have to use Eldrill to uh, hypnogaze uh, the man, uh, one of the two men in the back line, parallel with the ball. Uh, so it's still possible to get a two-dice block here. He also has a strength four ward answer who could reach. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Uh, so it's not uh, impossible to two-dice the ball here. All right, I guess Eldril might hit him against the claw man. Or no, he's just going to go straight after it. Uh, hoping for a scatter far off to the right where his uh, last catcher can come over and seal it. Uh, and it's just a three plus to pick it up and run away. Uh, you might also take the uh, uh, super catcher, put him in the end zone, uh, and then pick the ball up with your other catcher, dodge away, and try and throw a pass to him. Uh, that's uh, a little riskier, but if it works, uh, then you've just won. Uh, and yeah, that's exactly the scatter he needed. All right, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three, catcher can reach with one GFI. Uh, that may be the play. You see a G5 catcher, put him in the end zone, uh, three plus pickup, uh, and a dodge and a pass. Uh, so the wizard turn uh, has gone pretty well so far. Uh, that's a good point by Jim, who's uh, probably a little disheartened by uh, the way things have gone and is now chatting with us, uh, suggesting that uh, Eldrill can come in uh, and hypnogaze the dirty player who's marking the ball. Uh, that would make it a two-plus pickup. Uh, he's not going to try any of that stuff. 
Maybe he is. Uh, right now, he's just thinking about maybe uh, counting some squares. I think so. uh, Eldrill is going somewhere irrelevant. Uh, maybe instead of scoring, he's going to pick the ball up and uh, try and get it safe somewhere. Uh, he could pick it up. Uh, yeah, he's... Oh my goodness, he's just going to go right through everything with his nervous steel guy. Uh, and uh, now it's a touchdown anyway. So that was uh, not uh, the way I would have done it. But it worked. Uh, and that's 3-1, and that's almost certainly GG. Uh, Jim gave it a great shot to try and recover from the blitz, but uh, the wizard worked perfectly. Uh, and uh, coming into the game, that's what we said, you know, it's going to come down to the wizard turn, and if the wizard works perfectly, you lose. Uh, wizard worked perfectly, uh, and he's going to lose. Sorry. Uh, and sure, we can sit here and say, you know, there were uh, other possible plays that were more likely to succeed, but, you know, this is, this is, uh, this is Mr. Nice channel. Uh, I am not Blood Bowl's Mr. Nice, but I am filling in for him at the moment. Uh, so uh, I'm going to try and be nice and say, you know, what he did was uh, good enough. If you want to be part of Team Positive, then uh, you've got to fucking suck it up. Stop bitching like a little baby. Uh, and yeah, uh, that's a good point from Mr. LD Trading. Uh, the man, uh, the AG5 man does have pass. Uh, so uh, once he dodges through all those uh, many tackle zones uh, and, and picks the ball up, uh, he is 1 in 36 pass because nerves of steel means he can throw it from... Uh, tackle zones and not care, and AG5 means uh, he wouldn't have cared anyway, uh, and the pass gives him a free reroll for that. Uh, so maybe we're just all a little grouchy, uh, and uh, if we went back and did all the math, we might find that it was even uh, the optimal thing to do. Or uh, at least, uh, if it was suboptimal, it was certainly good enough and still, you know, maybe close. In a battle of the really birds, the Seattle Seahawks are beating the Philadelphia Eagles by 17 to 3. Uh, and uh, again, and on a personal note, sadly, uh, it looks like this game will uh, end in a reasonable time frame, which means I'll probably have to play my own Blood Bowl game. And I don't really want to do that. Uh, kick has been a pretty effective skill here. Uh, once again, kicking deep. Uh, Archangel has just said, screw it. Uh, I don't have to do anything more. Uh, it's going to take Jim three or four turns to score, probably, anyway. That catcher is likely to get the very last apple. Cunt! <laughs> get fucked, you little cunt! <laughs> Fuck off! Uh, yeah, Eldril has uh, certainly done his job. Doesn't need to be on the line of scrimmage anymore. Or, or doesn't need to be protected anymore. Could easily have been that guy in the line of scrimmage. Uh, maybe Archangel just just being careful, right? Uh, Chaos is going to push forward, uh, try and score quickly, uh, and then uh, you know if things go uh, the way uh, Jim would like them to. Uh, he'll have two or three turns left to try and uh, steal the ball from the Elves and score again. Uh, at which point, having someone like Eldrill around would be pretty handy. Uh, that is all three apples, though. 
Uh, and there are still uh, good players that you'd want to keep alive. Uh, he piled on the KO uh, into a stun. Uh, that looks silly, but the reason for that is that Archangel has two babes. Uh, so uh, Jim is also thinking about uh, the world after he scores and makes it three to two. Uh, a KO is uh, almost always coming back. Uh, and there are no more apples, so you're trying to hurt that guy. Uh, and so what if he's stunned? Uh, by the time he's unstunned and back in the game, uh, probably this drive is over. And if it isn't, uh, then uh, you've lost anyway. So that's a fine piling on. Right. Uh, that war dancer on the ground actually can reach the ball uh, if he's feeling super saucy. Uh, that's why Jim brought a second player back to protect it. Uh, now it, uh, there's no way for him to get anything more than red dice on the ball carrier. Uh, Archangel may give it a try. There's just so many beast men in scoring range that you can't really uh, do anything about all of them. Uh, you can put sidestep on two, hypnogaze a third, uh, and then try to blitz the fourth. Ces joueurs sont tout proches. Le combat paraît inévitable. Uh, that might be enough to stall another turn. Uh, and uh, every turn is precious here, so... It uh, looks like that's what he's going to do. Uh, put his players uh, somewhat at risk, but uh, that, that's what else. If you can... Uh, For fuck's uh, sake, off, Tony! Uh, the cast Stop being turn, shit! It, it helps you quite a bit. You wouldn't think five elves could deal with four scoring threats, but uh, they're kind of going to. Uh, he's sort of blocked his path a little bit. Uh, if he wants to get that war dancer back, he can still do it. With four squares of movement left, one, two, three, four. Maybe he'll GFI, maybe he'll leap. Uh, GFI is, of course, uh, more likely to work. Uh, the one standing Chaos Warrior is move 5, uh, so you might have a pass handoff type play. Uh, that's not impossible. Uh, dirty Player is free as well, uh, if that if it comes to that. Yeah, okay, so uh, he's corrected his mistake by uh, GFIing, uh, and it's worked out. Uh, he's got... An Enough of a screen, stopping uh, the Strength 4 Beastman from scoring easily. Uh, and sidestep on two players. And, of course, if you're hypnogazed, you can't catch a pass or a handoff. Uh, and if you activate him, that means he can't uh, move afterwards. Uh, you might try and blitz that guy free, run him all the way to the end zone, and do a, a, a handoff-pass combination. That's not impossible. Uh, but if Jim wants to score right now, and I'm sure he does, uh, it's going to take some dice. Uh, so again, well played, uh, Archangel, who's uh, uh, done some things that uh, we didn't quite agree with, but they were, I think, minor things, mostly. Uh, on the whole, I think he's played pretty well. Gonna hope uh, to knock down a catcher, but sidestep. 
That's not so bad because he's got tackle. It's a three plus dodge to do it, of course, and, and uh, that worked out for him. So we'll have uh, Mothbrain, the dirty player, who can score with a single GFI. So it's going to be quite a pass, but uh, extra arms uh, it does not help you in passes. You can only pass with one arm at a time. It doesn't matter that you have three. Uh, pass block could come into play as well. Eldrill is going to be close enough to do a thing. Uh, unless you knock him down. Uh, the catcher, uh, the super catcher, is going to be close enough as well to interfere with that. Uh, if you do try and throw it uh, to the guy who's free, uh, the, uh, the catcher could just... Uh, what, what? No? Okay. He would have to make some dodges, or, or he could... Well, he can't get in front of the ball. Uh, he can mark the ball carrier, uh, which would be uh, pretty effective too. Uh, there's no blitz. Uh, Jim can make that more difficult, but uh, he can't completely stop it. So we might get to see pass block. I said about uh, an hour ago uh, that uh, in a game like this, you're really only going to see a pass if it's desperation. Uh, Jim's going to try a, a super long pass uh, to avoid pass block. five to make that work it did not uh, and that's probably his last chance uh, that ball is exactly where the elves want it because they can just go pick it up and fuck off somewhere in the corner uh, kill a few turns uh, you cannot pass block from from the ground i believe But again, yeah, there's a second guy with pass block. Uh, if you had thrown it to uh, the dirty player where he started that turn, uh, then the catcher with pass block could have just walked right in and marked him uh, in a way that would have caused uh, a whole lot of hard dodges. Uh, so the way Jim did it was probably correct. Uh, needed a five plus pass instead. But with a reroll, that's uh, that's better than a coin flip. Uh, unfortunately, uh, his coin came up tails. And realistically, even if that all works, uh, you then have two turns uh, of your own to try and steal the ball from some wood elves and score again. Uh, very, very difficult to ask. Well, yeah, I can come back into chat now, can't I? Seems it's over. Commiserations, <laughs> yeah. uh, Jim. Did not work out for you. Yeah, I just forgot pass block, didn't I? Happened. Fair enough. Fuck's sake. Well, that's how it goes sometimes. Uh, you know, we always said the the wizard turn was going to be critical, uh, and his wizard worked uh, really well for him. Uh, he got, uh, got the uh, knockdown and the KO he needed, uh, and he got uh, a good scatter uh, and was able to pick the ball up and score with it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, I don't, he didn't, and he didn't do anything wrong, did he? Really? I mean, you could no. argue that that dodge through there, but then I thought I played well, apart from obviously that fucking yeah. forgetting pass block. I thought I, yeah, I, I think... could have put the beast on the other side because he wasn't really doing a whole lot, that, so I probably should have played on the other side. That was yeah, I think both nice. coaches played pretty well. I don't think uh, either have done anything egregious. Yeah. I mean, I made I made a bigger mistake than him. Well, I guess he got cast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his three apos worked for him he used all three of them and uh, they were all Im important his two babes changed the game for him a little bit uh, made him 
uh, pretty free to get KO'd and not care. Mm -hmm. Not taking two. Two extra is pretty unlikely to be down that much, isn't it? Because at the end of the day, if you mostly play CCL, you're down 500, so you go on Wizard and a star and like one apple aren't you it's because yeah, he's down he, six he was he was down 600 tv which is how he got two of them and even then might have been better to have gone uh jordel wasn't it was a possibility oh eldril's been pretty useful no i mean instead of the two uh instead of the two apples he could have had jordel as well <laughs> right oh, okay yeah then he's got 13 players yeah uh in this game it might not have worked out uh, we saw he did get his catcher uh badly hurt very early on uh, not having that catcher for about the whole game would have sucked. Yeah. Uh, so we would have had one apple for that. Um, but the other two apples, one of them was on a war dancer who's come back and done useful things. Uh, and the other saved uh, a player from death who's leveled up and will be useful uh, going forward. At least my team didn't die, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got that gun for me. Yeah. Uh, an Archangel will be happy. His team didn't die either. I mean, he's got a whole lot of people in the Kaz box, but they're uh, uh, mostly all loners. And just a badly hurt thrower. Yeah. That's the thing. You're, you're all less likely to use the two less apples in CCL, isn't it? Which is where which is where Shawnee played most of his games. So. Yeah, CCL you can always just concede to. Yes, true. <laughs> if you're facing this matchup. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you can just nope, nope right out of it. I mean, I wasn't lucky. Obviously, I got blitzed. Which was yeah, the blitz. Yeah, well, I thought you recovered pretty well from the blitz. I did, but not well enough. <laughs> Because he not fucking well bolted and scored, didn't he? Yeah. That's the thing, he had all the players ready to act because of the blitz, didn't he? If he hadn't, if like that kick, I would have recovered from the deep kick. No problem. Yeah, and there'd be nobody in position, right? Yeah. So it was yeah, the... Yeah, so um... blitz. You know, you get blitzed by an elf team like this, uh, that's it's usually going to be decisive. Mm. And there's, there's not much you can do to play around that. No. Yeah, that's a good point as well, Sean. Yeah. <laughs> and he probably won't be deleting this team, though, right? Uh, I mean, unless you get kicked out of Rebel, in which case you might as well not keep him anymore. Yep. <laughs> but I, I've done my best to be nice, uh, and uh, chat has occasionally been borderline not very nice, but for the most part, I think uh, all the people watching have been nice, too. Yeah, I mean there was certainly no uh, there was certainly no bad players to well there was the one where he marked the movement for scoring threat, <laughs> but I mean <laughs> I I forgot pass block so we both we both uh, I lost a touchdown because of it and he lost a loner Kaz from it so it doesn't really matter does it? Yeah, I mean you're never going to be perfect. The wor the worst thing is that all the vindicated all of the vindicator rebel is no doubt. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You yeah, know, well, despite think... having despite having the best season in G Man Division One of all time. <laughs> yeah, I think this game proves that piling on on Warriors is a bad mistake, even though yep. uh it really it had nothing to do with the game whatsoever. Yep, fastest fastest uh fastest quit play of qualification of all time after nine games and they'll all be saying Ooh! I'm sure they will. I'll I'll have a look at Calcium's yeah. VOD after the game, but I can I imagine that. There'll be a few people, but uh, there are people that like to make stuff like that up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's not being honest. It is what it is. I, I did my. Uh, I made. I made a mistake. I think you could argue I made a mistake. I should have moved the the guard claw mighty bleak beastman over the other side. I did think it was a bit weak, but I thought it's hard for him to get around there. And as soon as I ended the turn, I thought it's not that hard for him to get around there. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I yeah, guess I should it's... have. Uh, I should have had him somewhere over there. Um. So I made a bit of a mistake on the wizard turn, and then obviously an awful mistake with the uh, pass block. And if he has enough pass block players, that it's it's not easy to play around both of them. And you yeah. may knock one of them over and then just avoid the other. I don't think the play was awful. Oh, I think it was awful because I'd forgot. I mean, I would have passed it to the warrior and handed off. 100%. Oh, okay. 
but all I right just, so that that is a little better i just completely completely forgot about pass block right we've what's only got one thing to do here by the way meat slabs right. what's a, what's a three plus pass and a handoff uh, compared to a five plus pass maybe i should have re-rolled the hit on his uh dancer before from flat fart because obviously mm. it was a dancer that did the sap wasn't it with his strength four he didn't have any guard yeah, the strength four, the guy that you finally got rid of, has actually put in a, quite a bit of work in this yeah. game. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to say you were out bash, but he did. Uh, he did. Uh, stun he was, you several. Yeah, he was breaking. He was breaking armor quite a bit, and that wasn't even keeping him in the game. I obviously, couldn't pile on very much because I had to protect the ball against the wizard all all the time <laughs> until I didn't, and then I was able to pile on a little bit, thinking I was going to score yeah. in two turns. Yeah, at which point it just didn't matter anymore. And then failed. Yeah. Now you know, next time around, more control skills. Oh yes, definitely no piling on. That's That was the error of my ways. Yeah. Piling on on warriors, literally terrible. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Sean. Yeah. Huh? yeah, sorry Mr. Leibniz. I mean, I think I made a slight mistake on the... Uh, on the wizard turn. If I had a strength 5 warrior, I'd definitely put tense on him, obviously. I think it is good to have one anti-elf player. Um, well, you have three or four tackle guys. Those are kind of anti-elf. Well, that's the thing. I've kind of gone for loads yeah. of tackle to make up for the fact I that I haven't got an, elf, an anti-elf guy, really. Uh, piling on is pretty anti-elf. It can be, yeah, it can be. I just wish I'd won the toss so I could have kicked. Oh, okay. Yeah, we were speculating on that at the beginning of the game. I didn't know who had won the toss. Uh, and I thought maybe you would have chosen uh, to go on offense first. But no, no, sure. no. I would, have, I would have always kicked. You know, the fact he's got the wizard means I've got to protect the ball on, on offense. Right. And also more chance to take out his one-turner. Very sad that his apple worked. Well, I think, no, I just badly hurt him, didn't I? But, it, you know, uh, if yes. that had been if that had been a Kaz and a, a missed next game and a failed apple, it would have been amazing. Oh, baby. Oh, no. No. The team's not retiring, no, I mean, well, unless I get banned from Rebel. <laughs> <laughs> eh, you never know. Yep, you do never know, yep. <laughs> All right. Move my foul. Hey, hey, be nice. Be nice in chat. And that's going to be it uh, for me. Um, sadly, this game didn't take uh, four months because uh, and I have to go play Calcium afterwards and he's got a kill team and I've got shit at Gizla. Uh, so I was hoping to put it off as long as humanly possible. Uh, but at some point, it just has to be done. <laughs> well, good luck with that. All right. Well, thank you. Uh, and commiserations again. Uh, it's a... Uh, Shame to have to go out of the playoffs. I thought it was a well-played game by both sides. Uh, and, uh, you know, sometimes things just don't work out for you. Yeah, we both, we both made a mistake. His cost him a Kaz and mine cost me the match. <laughs> but even then, it, you know, I, I guess maybe two mistakes. Maybe I made two mistakes. And uh doesn't matter, does it? You did no, very well. Maybe, maybe you, you don't win anyway. I mean, it's not like... Yeah. It's not easy to say that, oh, this cost me the match. It was just a slightly, you know, inaccurate way to do things. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah may maybe my two mistakes could have lost me the game. Maybe. <laughs> but, um... but you never know. Anyway, thanks again, uh, Mr. Jim, for having me on. Uh, and um, thanks all of you fine people in chat for being nice. Uh, and I'm going to sign out so I can go be less nice. All right, thank you very much, BZL, for, all for right. the cast. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, and uh, be sure to check out BZL on Twitch. If you sub to two people, make the second one <laughs> BZL. <laughs> and uh, Floor Trout got the MVP, brilliant. He only made four EV breaks, it felt like he was breaking more. Maybe just because the first few blitzes were breaks. Um, is He got full value from that. Every single apple was negated a Kaz, which was pretty lucky from him, I think. Um... My dodges only failed at the end when it didn't matter. My catches worked. My only pass failed at the end when I'd messed it up anyway. All my GFIs worked. So my guys were pretty good. 29, 22, 29. 12, 20. 
Um, 16, so his, his block dice were great. His dodges were outstanding. GFIs were good. Um, leaps were good. <laughs> Gazes were excellent. So, uh, yeah, it, you know, I think... Yeah, the blitz and the scatter. The blitz and the scatter, but I still should have probably... I think the only thing that I did wrong was... Um, I think I could have put the beast man on the other side of the cage. He kind of didn't relay any... Yeah. Well, I thought going there protected against the fireball a bit more. But I think going the other side would have protected against the bolt more. And he probably wasn't going to fireball. So I probably should have put him the other side of it. I was dreading this match the whole time. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's not a surprise whatsoever. Um, yeah, yeah. I think I could have done. But again, I was unlucky though, right? I was unlucky. I didn't, I didn't mind him scoring. Then that was only going down 2-1, wasn't it? Um, it wasn't, and I still got the two dice, the, uh, I got a two dice frenzy, the, uh, the war dancer after that hit, but then obviously rolled the both down, so I mean, if I'd cast the dancer off that, I wouldn't have minded. Um, I got the safety back, so we couldn't stall it, so it wasn't that bad. Um, so, no, I think the beast man the other side, the guard guy that, that blitzed, I think could have gone the other side, and, uh, uh uh, probably the dancer I would have had to GFI though at Miss Black, and there was three. There were three. Uh, there were three rerolls with the possibility of overtime, so I didn't want to have to reroll. Um, I know what you would have chosen, being Mister Reroll Man, but <laughs> Mister Reroll Man, Mister GFI Man, but um, I really he was move busted. You know, if he wasn't move busted, I would have one hundred percent blitzed the dancer. But um, one hundred percent blitzed him if he wasn't move busted. But um, yeah, I think it was as well, Wolfback. Yeah, I mean, arguably yours. But um, I think your team wouldn't have been good for me, obviously. Uh, but yeah, it was definitely it was definitely one of the worst, if not the worst, for sure. For sure, it was it was one of the worst, if not the worst. Um, yeah. Yeah, maybe. I mean, <laughs> maybe I'm maybe I'm biased by the time that every foul you made cast somebody. <laughs> but. Um, yeah, that was that was the thing. I, I, anyway, good good luck to me. I do think I was uh, very unlucky. Yeah, it was definitely one of the best matchups against me, and obviously one of the best coaches actually knew how to get two pushes for the one turn. Um, could I have done anything different against the one turn? Not really, because he had to. Uh, not really. I couldn't really do much to stop the one turn. I thought I did about as much as I could have done against the one turn, and he managed to get two pushes. Yeah, incredible. Yeah, I thought he played well. Yeah, yeah. I think he made he made one big mistake, which was which was basing the strength for, um, basing the movement for warrior for no reason. Um, no, you need three stand firms burner, which means you lose three piling ons, which means you don't go eleven one one in the regular season and qualifying in record time. <laughs> so um, <laughs> there is that. Just saying. Um, <laughs> Yeah, the pass block, and it was it was already it was, yeah. I mean that was easy. That's not that's not a massive criticism, and that was just one. Mis that was the only thing he did wrong <laughs> was uh, was tagging the movement four guy, and obviously he got cast for it. And then I think you could argue the two things I did wrong were moving that beast man with guard the wrong side, and again, arguably, and it doesn't mean that it would have made any difference. And then obviously the pass block was a massive mistake, uh, but again, it probably wouldn't have made any difference anyway, would it? So. You know, there you go. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.